Hey there, what's up everyone? Welcome to Lineage 2 Revolution. So today we'll be I'll be discussing you the abilities and strategies for Marlocks, one of the latest boss in the in Lineage. So let's begin then. So for starters, Lineage or Marlocks actually has two sets of basic abilities, which is that he usually casts more frequently. One of them is like a a jump an AoE attack like that one where he jumps from from the area which could usually stun you. The other ability is like a frontal attack, which is, well, let's wait for him to do it. Nope, he did his jump again. There it is. So, so those are the things that you, you need to be quick about. So for the melee, like or like any other bosses, this is actually not a very melee friendly fight. So that's pretty much what you need to keep in mind of. Then after this, let's wait now for his third and most uh, ability that you need to watch out for. Okay, he did jump again. Yep, so these are actually the frequent abilities he does. Usually when his health is lower, he usually casts these spells on fr frequently or consecutively. Okay, there's the frontal attack again. So we're waiting for the demonic totem or, or that ability, whatever it is. So, there it is. So uh, after a while, he'll actually be casting demo demonic totems, which is actually something that you need to destroy the demonic totem. Otherwise, if you attack Marlocks while he's casting, he only he, he only takes one damage. So it's essential that you actually kill those. Otherwise, after a few seconds, you are actually gonna get yourself killed, like so. Then chances are, if you don't also have a decent tank, then of course the boss will reset and you start from square one again. So that's pretty much it. You really need a high CP here for this kind of this kind of battle. And even though it says that you need one one million CP, that's actually I think it's a bit more. You need a lot more than that. So I hope you enjoyed the bo this boss segment, and thank you guys for watching. See ya.